Hello. In this video, I'll be going over the derivation of the moment of inertia of a rod. I will first be doing it in the general case where the axis rotation is through any point. Um, and then I'll go into some specific cases of rotating a rod about its end point or through its center. Okay, so I've drawn our system in the top left corner of a rod rotating about its the z-axis in this image. I'll amend my previous statement in that this isn't entirely general, as it's not the case where we're rotating about um, the th or through the center of the rod, but rather through its side. But for any axis through the side, this these results will hold. I have put the rod in a configuration where there's a length of y naught to the left of the z-axis. The rod is a total length of capital L, which makes the rightmost part at a distance of L minus y naught. I'm going to start with um, once again, the common formulation of the moment of inertia being the integral of r squared dm, where dm is a small mass element and r is the distance that that small mass element is away from the axis of rotation. In this case, I'm going to be replacing r with y just because I'm dealing with the y-axis in this specific case, but um, it generalizes well. So as a quick sort of move, multiplying by a clever form of 1, I'm going to insert a dy over y, sorry, dy over dy, um, so that they would sort of, you can imagine, cancel out. And with this trick, I'm going to be changing dm over dy into lambda, where I'm defining lambda to be the linear mass density, so mass over length of the rod. And after this substitution is made, where lambda is a constant, I can actually perform this integral. I'm integrating from negative y naught to L minus y naught, which are the bounds of the rod as seen in the image. And performing this integral, we can integrate and evaluate from the bounds, plug them in, and expand out the cube term. Um, we get a pretty large number of terms here that can be slightly condensed, but we end up with the general form of the moment of inertia of a rod rotating about some axis through its side being lambda over 3 times L cubed minus 3L squared Y naught plus 3L Y naught squared. Unlike in previous videos where I've made a point to get rid of the density term, in this case I'm going to leave it in for now um, because this general case rarely actually shows up, um, but in the specific cases that I'll be covering next, I'll be making sure to get rid of this density term into something more simple. The first specific case that is commonly seen is the, um, the moment inertia of a rod rotating about its end point. So in this case, the left end I'm putting at zero, the right end is at capital L on the y-axis, and we're rotating about the, the end point. <laughs> Um, so from before we have the form of the moment of inertia, and if we look at the image in the top right corner, I'm just setting y naught to be zero, and because of that L minus y naught is just L. So starting from our previous result, we can just sort of plug that in, all the terms with y naught go to zero, and we're just left with lambda over three times L cubed. Because I've defined lambda to be M over L, I can 
make that substitution and canceling out a power of L, we are left with one third ML squared. And that is the moment of inertia of a rod rotating about its end. The next common um, case that I'll be going over is a rod rotating about its center. So in the top left corner, I've drawn our system where the left point is at minus L over two and the right point is at positive L over two. Once again, taking our result from before and substituting negative y naught is now minus L over two. And because of that L minus y naught is L over two. So we can plug in those results um, and square when appropriate. Simplifying that out, we are left with lambda over three times L cubed minus three halves L cubed plus three fourths L cubed. Just to fully do out the math, we'll get a common denominator of four, such that we can combine all of these terms together. As done before, I'll be changing our linear mass density back into a mass over length form and canceling out a power of L, we are left with the moment of inertia of a rod rotating about an axis through its center, and that is 1 12th times ML squared. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching it. As always, if you have any suggestions for topics to cover, I would welcome those very much. Thank you.